Hello everyone and welcome to a new poster. So today we're going to be designing this poster here. It's really cool like with some like text distortions which is created by Lift Mesh. So yeah, let's jump in. First thing, let's just create a new artboard. 1700, 2400 and just press create. Nice. So let's get my tabs back, all my tools. Yeah, cool. So the first thing, let's go to a text type type tool, text type tool here, and just write distortion, something like this. You can write anything you want. It doesn't really need to be the same thing as me. I'm going to choose like a really nice font to use Studio um font here. Perfect. Going to select it, going to scale it down a little bit. Next thing, we're going to just center this on the artboard. Let's go to effects, tra distort and transform. Let's go to transform and let's just uh, make a repeat here. Let's just make it like 10 copies for now and then move horizontally. Actually, no, vertically. Sorry, my my bad. <laughs> just like uh, just make a few copies, uh, the distance with the, with the copies until it fills the, the entire artboard. Something like this. Perfect. Next thing, let's select, let's select our text and let's go to object and expert appearance. And let's say go again, expand. Let's press uh, object and fill, press OK, great. Next, let's go to object and then envelope distort. And let's make with uh, mesh, perfect. Here on the mesh, you can actually select how many distortion points you want in this like grid mesh thing. I wouldn't leave it four by four. You can add more detail if you actually want to add more distortion or like very detailed distortions. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it at four by four. Just press OK. And now using our direct selection tool, we're just going to click here on this point and just start to distort it and drag it in this direction. Let's try to make a really nice distortion. Now we can see how it works really well with the text. It's actually a really cool effect. I really like doing this and just keep it. Be careful just to select the, the point. Otherwise, if you select in the middle, actually going to drag the entire selection it will be the square here. So we'll drag the entire mesh. So be sure to select the point here, something like this, make it like a really nice distortion like this. And just a little bit more here. Great. And next thing, something more like this. Perfect. Just try to make it as interesting as you can. Something like really well distorted, something that will make your mother proud or, or dad proud. That's that, like something that will them say, that's a very well distorted poster type thing, I guess. <laughs> Sorry for my, for my mistake, for my, not mistake, but like for, yeah, mistake of trying to make a joke. Just make it like this and just adjust it like this. Try to make those, these curves like as smooth as you can. It's really important to make them, to give some love on these curves sometimes, because sometimes just like, it, it, it makes like weird meshes with the, with the text, which is not cool. Now let's just make sure to make this one like this and perfect. Maybe this one is not distorted yet. I'm just going to make something interesting there as well. Distortion. Cool. Really cool, right? It actually works like on a black, on a, in this black and white situation, like the text is black and the background is white. Um, but I'm going to make it like as the example. So let's go select this distortion here. Let's go to object and expand. Again, expand mesh and let's go to our rectangle tool here and make a really nice rectangle for the background. Let's right click, arrange, send it back. Let's select our text here and just apply. You can actually apply another colors if you want like to apply like a nice pink neon color and just maybe like a really nice green will be working really well. Or even like a nice gradient. I think a gradient will work really well on this as well. I just tried to work out with the gradient here. Yeah, I think a gradient is a, is a good option. I wouldn't leave it just as a white as it was in the example, but because it creates this high contrast, which is works really, like really cool. And then the next thing was just, I wrote just reality. Just to give you a little bit of context in that to the poster, I was like reality distortion. It's like, it's pretty much what happens almost every day in the, in the globe, so. I wanted to be connected some way with the 
contemporary subjects, <laughs> something like that. Let's make it white as well. Let's just expand it. Why not? We're not going to change that. Let's just center it all together and just group it and bring it to front. Oh, it's already in the front, but arrange bring to the front. And then try to make a really nice composition with it. Just like dragging it like somewhere, just like this. Try to make it like separated, like in between the posters. So it creates this really nice, like, uh, repeat repetition of of this word as well. Let's just do this. I'm sorry for my voice today. I feel like I'm coming out with a cold or something, and I can't really breathe by my nose, and it makes my voice sound really weird. And I'm so sorry, but I really wanted to to keep doing these daily tutorials, and it's really hard. Like. I didn't plan get sick while doing these daily tutorials, but I think it's gonna happen a few times this year, as as I, everyone around me is sick. So, well, this is it. I I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. I re it's a really fun technique. Actually, you can have so much fun with it as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I also started to share these working files in case you want to download them is actually also a way for you to get the file and for me to get some kickback from the ads that shows on the download website. I know it's pretty annoying like having like to see a, an ad before you download something, but I really wanted to make these working files for free in some way and I think this is a way I can actually make it sustainable as well. So yeah, by clicking on that link, you actually see an annoying ad. I get a little bit of kickback from that ad, like almost nothing, but in, in scale one day will be okay. And you get this working file, which is really cool. And you also support me as a creator. So yeah, I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.